first question is uh, about your album, Super Scope. Uh, we would like to know how it came to life and why you chose that name. Just a little bit about the whole process. We recorded it in our own studio in a Kentish town, um, produced it ourselves. And uh, yeah, we all wrote, you know, the songs individually and then just kind of got together and rehearsed them and worked on the arrangements and stuff. And then, yeah, just got in there and recorded them. Yeah, it's quite a, a big mix of kind of different, um, different feels and different kinds of music in there. Um, so yeah, there's a bit, bit of something for everyone, I think. You know, you've got a lot of kind of um, soulful ones, some funky ones, um, some, uh, some rock and roll in there, and like a few sort of soulful ballads. Um, so I think there's, yeah, it's quite diverse and there's a lot of different kind of vibes in it. Um, so yeah, we just recorded it in, in a few months and spent a long time sort of writing and rehearsing it. Uh, and now we're going to take it on the road and uh, hopefully people will like it. I'm sure. <laughs> um, if you want to add something. Or... Uh, no, they pretty much summed it up. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, I had another question about your... Um, performance uh, because you tend to do analog performance yeah we use analog equipment in our studio but it it's not I mean we wouldn't really call it retro we just use the equipment because we think it gives us a good sound and um, even a lot of more well not modern bands but bo bands that you wouldn't expect used you know the same equipment that we did you know, like, uh, I don't know, Michael Jackson and stuff used, all, like, analog equipment and stuff. But no one says, oh, you're retro. Um, so, yeah, I think we just do it because it gives us the sound that we like. I think also because we've been going for such a long time and in, in like, back in the day, we used to kind of do a lot, a lot more Roots-style music and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, when journalists, like, do the research or something, um, they'll see, like, stuff from then and think that we're the same 10 years later. Um, but people always change and, and like develop in their tastes and, and whatever they like and stuff, you know. Like I'm sure 10 years ago, you look completely different. Um, probably smell yeah, different too. Not really, <laughs> yeah. long hair. And, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, fair enough. Um, uh, what about the, the London Folk and Roots uh, Festival? Are you excited about that? Are you... Yeah, yeah. I think it's great. And obviously, um, like, this, we're at Islington Assembly Hall now. Um, and this is our first show of our tour. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get to see a lot of it because um, tomorrow we'll be going off to Europe, you know, um, to, to, do, to tour our, our new record. So... Uh, but it's a great thing, you know, I think music in London is great. There's so much going on, you know, and this is obviously like a part of it. And I think we're excited to play it as well. Mm. So, yeah, looking forward to the show. All right. Um, uh, about your process, I know you uh, have your studio um, and you live basically in the same building, so above the studio, but you always write separately. Uh, why is that? And it's always been like that, that you prefer to write separately and, and then put everything together? Uh, uh, I think because the three of us are, are you know, individual musicians and songwriters. Um, so when it comes to compiling an album, writing an album, we kind of just go off and, and do our own thing in our own time. Um, we've never really kind of sat down and said, Let, we need to write an album or we need to write a song. Um, we just kind of, it just happens naturally in our own time really and then we'll get together um, and sort of develop the songs as, as a group. Um, but yeah, bec I think because we go through, you know, we all have our own lives so, you know, I could be out, you know, have one experience and write about that and Daisy about another. So in the end we all come together and you get this big, you know, mix of different kinds of songs um, which are about different things, you know. I think as well what's interesting about it is because people would expect us to always write together because of the way we grew up and stuff, you know, jamming together and uh, playing music together, that's how we started. But when it comes to the actual songwriting itself, it's something that, you know, just comes to you 
um, when you're, you know, going about doing your own thing. Um, yeah, we never kind of sit together and go, right, let's, let's write a song. But a lot of the music does come out of all being together. Okay. It's just, I, I was just wondering about then, you know, the final uh, album and the coherence of it. It's just, you know, curious that, I mean, it's funny that you end up writing everything separately and then, you know, the album comes out. Like, I think lyrically everything was separate, but in terms of music, production, arrangement, that, that was done together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know you tend to do a lot of uh, rock and roll punk, uh, you move uh, on the soul and jazz genre too, but have you thought uh, about doing something that's uh, far from, from that style, like something electronic perhaps, for, for you know, in the future? Yeah, definitely. We always kind of doing different things all the time. I um, think as, as like a musician and an artist, like you don't think about what you can do that you haven't already done. You just kind of do what feels natural and like if the time is right, you'll do it rather than trying to like pick something to work on just, just to do it because you haven't done it. Like, um, but our, our, um, we made like an electronic thing the other day, which is like our new intro tune when we come on. So, so we're always doing stuff and we did that because we thought it would work for what we wanted, not, not just purely to say that like we've explored a new like avenue, so so yeah, we're always doing like different stuff, you know. Okay. If if it fits, you know. Yeah. Um, so you tend to experiment then with different. Yeah, genres, all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, I know you grew up uh, in a musical family. At some point, did you thought about changing career paths? Did you have something else in mind when you were younger? Um. Yeah, well, when you're a kid, you always have different ideas. Of, I remember I wanted to be an inventor. Um, <laughs> I invented a frog lead. Never knew how I was going to make it. Frog <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then I wanted to be a makeup artist. Um, yeah, but once you start touring, you don't really think about that anymore. Yeah, I think because, well, certainly because I'm the youngest, so when I left school, by the time I left school, we were already kind of doing lots of gigs. Um, so when, when I left, we just went straight on the road and, you know, straight on tour. Um, so we just, I just kind of went straight into it, really. And I didn't, we never thought we were like, you know, we're a band, let's, let's make a go of it. It just kind of happened that way. Um, so, yeah. But I think like, we all have our own individual interests as well, which we do. If someone's interested in something or passionate about something, they do it anyway, regardless if if they have a like a job they're stuck in or something. But um, we've never gone down the path of like, oh, I want to be um, like a, a chemist or something like that, and then study for years and years, um, and you basically like devote your life to like being this one thing, and then like you get there and it's whatever. Um, I can't ever imagine doing that. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you. I no sweat, no blood, no tears. Please don't cry. It's better this way now that we said goodbye. Baby, bye.